Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we're going to find out if secant x plus tangent x is equal to 15 over 7, then what's the value for cosecant x plus cotangent x? Of course, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you get yourself a chance to try it, and I will write down the answer right here for you guys. The answer to this right here is 11 over 5. Just kidding, 11 over 4, right here, right? And of course, you guys can leave a comment down below and let us know how you solved it. And now I will show you guys how I will approach this right here. First of all, we notice that tangent x and cotangent x, they're just a reciprocal of each other. So maybe we can utilize that. And I will actually just play around with the equations to the best as possible, and we'll see the following. I want to have a number right here to work with so I can work with equations. So I'm going to erase the question mark, and I will call this right here to be some number k, which I don't know yet, and I will, send out, I will try to find out how k is, right? And what we'll do is, because this is equal to that, and we have a given equation, I will just multiply this right here and multiply this right here. So we're just going to be pretty much multiply the same thing on both sides. So let me write it down for you guys what I mean by that. So here we start with secant x, plus tangent x. So that's the left-hand side right here. And we know this is equal to 15 over 7. And then I'm going to multiply this right here, which is cosecant x plus cotangent x. And because we know this is equal to k, I'm multiplying by k on the other side. I am still multiplying the same thing on both sides, right? And now here's the interesting part. Of course, we can multiply this out. Take this times that. In terms of sine cosine, we get 1 over cosine x sine x. I will write everything right here. Cosine x times sine x. Now continue. This times that. Well, the good thing is that cosine and this cosine, they cancel. So we end up with plus 1 over sine x. And then we continue. This times that, the sign will cancel, so we have plus 1 over cosine x. And then this times that, well, this, this, that, and that, cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel, four of them, I don't know, but just plus 1. On the right-hand side, we still have that 15 over 7k. So now, that is what we have. And of course, if you look back to the original, what I will do is, I will actually look at this because we have the 1 over cosine, 1 over cosine here, right? I'm going to look at this, and I will subtract it from this equation. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. I will subtract 1 over cosine x, and then of course I will also have to minus the tangent x. I'm just pretty much multiplying negative 1 right here, combined with this equation. So minus tangent x, I will write tangent x as sine x over cosine x. And this right here has to be equal to negative 15 over 7. So I'm subtracting this right here from this equation. And then I will be doing the same thing. Because I do see I have the 1 over sine. This is also 1 over sine. So I will look at this and I will subtract 1 over sine x. And then that's the same as cosine x over sine x. And this is equal to negative k. Right? So, this is what happened. You're pretty much looking at all these three things, three big equations like this. And then you're just going to subtract, 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 subtract. This and that, cancel, cancel. Very nice. This and that, cancel, cancel. Well, here is the deal. The truth is, when you do this and that together, I will just write it down on the side for you guys. If you look at minus this and minus that, which is minus sine x over cosine x minus cosine x over sine x, right? Of course, we can get the common denominator, which I will have to multiply this by sine x, sine x, and then multiply this by cosine x, multiply this by cosine x. And we'll see, on the bottom, we have just sine x, cosine x, that is very nice. On the top though, of course this times that is negative sine square x, and then this times that is minus cosine square x. I can factor out a negative, and then this is 
sine square x plus cosine square x. And this is what? Yes, it's just a minus 1 on the top like that. And the deal is that this and that together is negative 1 over sine x times cosine x. Well, we have a positive version right here. So in another word, I can cancel this out with this and that. I'll do it again just to show you how cool this is. So we end up with a very nice, simple equation, namely 1 being equal to 15 over 7k minus 15 over 7, and then minus k like that. And of course, now this is just a little baby fraction equation, all that. So just deal with it. Combine these two terms. This is like 7 over 7. When you subtract, you get 1 equals 8 over 7k minus 15 over 7. And then you bring this to the other side. It becomes positive and it becomes 7 over 7 plus that, which is 22 over 7 equals 8 over 7k. And of course, 7s cancel each other out, and then you can just divide the 8 on both sides, and you know the usual business. k equals 22 over 8, namely 11 over 4. And of course, this right here is the answer for the k, which is the answer right here. Okay, before we go, I just want to thank Belinda Ward for sponsoring this video, and I would also like to take some time to show you guys what they have for you guys. This is an awesome math and science website, and you guys can come here and sign up for a free account and do their daily problems. It's a new feature, and it contains a lot of the questions in math and science, engineering, logic, every single day for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys the selection here, but I really want to show you guys this question because Back in college, one of my classmates, he actually asked me this question and I couldn't know how to do it. And now I know, of course. But anyway, here is the question. Suppose you are on a box and you are an ant. And you want to get to this right here, which is a chocolate, right? Well, what's the shortest distance for you to travel from this corner to this corner? And you have to select the answer right here. Well, I'm not going to tell you guys what the answer is. You guys can come here and then just sign up for a free account and then you guys can you know, do the question so that way you can keep track of your progress and you'll feel really accomplished. And if you want more, be sure you guys go check out the quiz right here as well. And you guys can read a lot over in geometry. And of course, you have more quizzes, questions right here. Ha, pass that zero, huh? And then, if you guys would like, you guys can also go check out their courses. And you guys can also use the link BrendaWork slash BlackPenRipen because this way you guys can actually get 20% off discount to the courses they have decided in math and science. So this is it, and if you guys ready to see more math for fun videos, be sure you guys subscribe, and you guys can also leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have any interesting math questions I can present for you guys who I can try to solve it, but you know, I will try my best. Anyway, that's it!